Hey guys, when I tell you guys about Bitcoin, a lot of you guys are like, yeah, Bitcoin's pretty cool, but I mean, how do I know something better is not going to come along in a couple of years? Like Dogecoin or Litecoin. Well, Dogecoin is pretty cool, and in some ways it's even better than Bitcoin. I mean, it's got a super cute Shiba Inu as a, a logo, and some people say that because it has an increasing supply of coins, that's also another advantage. We'll consider this. Money is a protocol to exchange wealth, and language is a protocol to exchange information. If a new language came along that was better at exchanging information, would you switch? Well, what about the Korean alphabet? It was invented in 1443, way after English, and it's so logical because it's all based on either the shape of your tongue or the shape of your lips, every sound, every, every letter in the alphabet. It's so easy that I learned to read Korean in less than a day, even though I didn't know what I was saying. So why is the whole world learning English? The answer is languages and protocols in general are extremely reliant on network effects. When you have two people that speak the same language, there's not much you can do except talk to the same person. But if you have 10, look at how many people you can talk to. Every protocol has one big winner. If it's, if it's voice, it's telephone. If it's language, it's English. Uh, for the internet, it was the hypertext protocol. And for cryptocurrencies, it's Bitcoin. If you want to see the incredible five-year price history of Bitcoin, click here. If you want to see what it is that makes Bitcoin so much better than any other currency we've seen, click here.